Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For people who don't know, my name is Lisa, I'm 21 years old. I'm a model and I've been living in Korea for two years. Today I want to introduce myself to my new followers and also answer frequently asked questions. But first, if you could notice, my makeup is not completely finished. It's because yesterday I got some makeup products and I want to unpack it with you today and use it for the first time. It's just a few things and let's start with eyebrow pencil. This is, I'm not sure if I say the name of the brand right, it's Pore, uh shade Cool Grey. I have a lot of cosmetics from this brand. It's not advertising, unfortunately, but yeah, I like it a lot. So let's try it on my eyebrows. I like this pencil. It looks really pretty. It's really sharp. I tried it in the store on my hand and I don't know, it felt like it's gonna be amazing. And also brush on the other side. Okay, the shade is perfect and I had no doubt because uh, my pencil which I use right now is the same shade. But the thing is that for me it's really hard to use it right now because I used to use this type of pencil. And as you can see, it's not sharp at all and I was just drawing like shape around but now I need to draw separately but I think if I learn how to do that it's gonna look pretty let's finish another brow and some gel that's not new product okay I'm done with my eyebrows and now at least my face looks a little bit contrasted my next purchase is blush this blush is from Lily by Red and it's red color. I don't know if it's gonna look good on me, but when I saw it, I was like, mm, I have all peach or pink blushes, like maybe different shades, but still it's like peach or pink. And I wanted to try something new. So I got this red one, <laughs> red one. And we'll see right now if it looks good on me or not. They sold me wrong one. I know it should be like red package and this is not it. I'm not even gonna open, I'll just go back and ask them to change. Um, okay, I'm just gonna use blush, I already have another one. Why? Why did it happen to me? Okay, maybe that's the sign that I don't need the red blush. No, I do need red blush. I'll go and get it. For now, let's just use this one. I love this shade. Really pretty. It's me on the way to change my blush. Let's see if I can do it or not. <sighs> now it is a red blush. So let's try it on my face. First, I need to remove this blush I have on my face. Let's open it. Am I doing something wrong? Finally. It's red red. I'll use my sponge. I think it's too much. Let's just use fingers. Okay, this is pretty. Okay, my efforts were not in vain and I think it looks really pretty. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but in the mirror, I like it a lot. I think you realize that everything I'm showing right now was already after I filmed the whole video. So right now, let's go back in the past. Okay, and my last one, which is I'm really not sure about because it's red it's like bright red christmas lipstick and i don't know if it's gonna look good on me because i've never tried red lipstick and i i don't know so let's see together <sighs> wish me luck also same brand as my 
eyebrow pencil. I know that red lipstick is really hard to put on like clearly, so I'm gonna use pencil first. It's not red pencil, just a nude pencil. So let's do it first and then red lipstick. Contour is done. I'm scared guys, I've never tried so... Let's go. I don't know how to feel. In the mirror it looks different, on camera it's kind of orange. I don't know. Mm. It's just super unusual on my face, so I can't say if I like it or not. Please tell me what you think about my red lipstick. And I think I should try dark red. Maybe if my eyes are more dark, I mean like um, more mascara or like more dark eyeshadow, then it would look better. I removed my red lipstick for now because I don't want it to be distracted by my lips. So I'll put my favorite lipstick. It's the same brand again. They don't need to pay for advertising from me because I already promote them for free. Mm. Okay, we're done with cosmetics, but I also got this red, <laughs> again, um, sweater from Uniqlo. And should I try it on? Okay, let's try it on. I don't know what happened to me. Maybe it's upcoming Christmas affecting me, but yes, I got a lot of red. Okay, that's cute. Oh, but you can see my black top on there. Why did they do this to me? Okay. Looks like this. Okay, I think it looks pretty. But I'm gonna change back to my black one. Okay, I'm done with unpacking, so now we're moving to main topic of my video. This video is my introduction to you. As I already said, my name is Lisa, I'm 21 years old. I'm from Russia, I'm Russian, my parents are both Russians. If you're gonna ask about me being half-half, no, I'm not half-half, I'm 100% Russian. I have been working as a model for five years. I started when I was in Russia and then I went to Thailand once and after that I went to Korea and decided to stay here. The story how I came to Korea is not really special because I just got invited by agency, we signed the contract and I came to Korea. This is it, nothing special. The topic how to become a model is really big and I would need separate video for that. So I'm not gonna tell you how to become a model on this video, but here's already a lot of videos on YouTube and all over internet, a lot of information which you can find and find out how to become a model. Let's talk about... Let's talk about plastic surgeries. I got many questions and many accusations about plastic surgeries, but what I'm gonna say is that I didn't have any plastic surgeries, but I still have something fake on my face. First is my lips. I got filler more than one year ago, one milliliter, so I'm not even sure if I still have something left, but yes, I got my lips done. And the second thing is my teeth. This four teeth on the front are fake. This is it. And now I'm gonna show you fast my face in details. The most discussed part of my face is my nose. Let's look at it closely. I usually film my videos like this from this angle. This is another angle. And also if you look from top, you can see that my nose is not straight. Second, what I get a lot is what lenses do I use? I don't use any lenses. That's my natural eyes color and I don't even think it's special, so I don't know why do I get these questions. I saw many, many people having the same eyes color. I also got comments like, why do all girls in Korea look the same? Or I could clearly tell that she got plastic surgeries in Korea. I don't know, guys. I was born with this face. This is my childhood pictures. Many people asked for it. So you can look and I don't know what you're gonna say, but yeah, this is how I was born. I realized that I forgot to mention one more part of my face, which I get comments a lot about, is my chin. It's already next day, but I decided that I still want to tell you the story. So what about my chin? Is it fake? 
No, it's not fake, but I did have surgery on my chin. Short story time. In 2019, I decided to ride longboard. It's like skateboard, but bigger one. I was riding around the city and there was this place with just like really weird ground. I don't know how cold in English. I'll show you a picture here. And there was a little hill, not too big, but it was big enough for me to get a lot of speed. And I got scared and I wanted to stop and I just put my leg down and fell right on my chin, like this. My first thought was, I'm gonna keep doing modeling. And at first I didn't even realize that something happened to my chin because I fell like my whole face down and I thought that I broke my nose because it hurt a lot, but nothing happened to my nose and I was really happy about it. But then I saw blood coming down and I was like, oh my God, where is this blood from? And I realized it was my chin. I also had a slight concussion, so I didn't even realize what happening to me. So I just sat on the ground and I was thinking, what should I do next? And I went to hospital and they sued my chin. And I realized that I had concussion only the next day when I woke up and I felt dizzy and I couldn't see clearly. But yeah, I was really worried about my chin being ugly. But because of that, now my chin looks more sharp because my scar is right here. So when I look straight, it looks more sharp. So if you don't want to do surgery, no, I do not recommend. I don't want to put any pictures here because it's kind of scary, so YouTube maybe will not like it. But I have video on TikTok, so you can scroll down my page and find this video and look at the hole on my chin. But even if I push my skin with the scar a little back, you still can see that my chin bone is sharp. So yeah, it became a little bit sharper, but at the same time, I already had sharp chin without the scar. Now my scar is really light, so you can't even see it if you don't look super close. So I'm not worried about it at all. Next question is not about plastic surgery, but it's still about my appearance. If I dyed my hair or it's natural color. This is my natural color and this is my natural hairstyle too. I just washed my head yesterday and went to sleep. The thing is that I can't dye my hair because I have allergy on hair dye. So this is one fact about me. Yes, I have allergy on hair dye. So even if I want to dye my hair, but I don't want, but even if I want, I have allergy. So I can't do that. I found out about my allergy when I dyed my eyebrows and it happened a few times because I wasn't sure. And I dyed with hair dye, I dyed with henna and I did it like three times, I think. And every time, all my eyebrows were like itchy and with a lot of pimples, just like the whole thing, the whole area of my eyebrows were with pimples. So yeah, I know I do have allergy on hair dye. I'm almost done with questions about my appearance. Another common question is my height. I'm 171. And another question is my weight. I'm 51 to 52 kilograms. Last request, I think it's also about my appearance is to show my parents. So here it is. My parents when they're young and my parents right now. And speaking of my family, I also have older sister and older brother. Let's go a little back to my past. I was born in a small city called Kamushin. It's in the Volgograd region on the south of Russia. I studied at school there and I did athletics. Sport was a really big part of my life when I was at school and I finished my sports school as candidate to master of sports. I don't know if you know what it is, but if you know, you know. I also finished 11th grade with gold medal. Explanation for foreigners, you get gold medal when you get top marks in all school subjects. I graduated from school when I was 17 years old and I went to Moscow to university. When I studied at the university, I started searching for some brands which can work with me for free as a model. Because I just started, I wanted to get some pictures for my portfolio and also get some experience from the shootings. After first year at the university, I already had my mother agency in Russia and they found a contract to Thailand. So my first model trip happened to be in Thailand and it was three months. I didn't like Thailand so I don't want to go there again, but it was good experience and it was my first time. After my Thailand trip I came back and continued studying, but then I decided that I want to go work to China and for that I decided to switch my daytime university to distance learning. But when I did it, Corona started, so 
I couldn't go anywhere. So it was half year of distance learning and it's already been two years of me studying in the university. After second year, I realized that I don't like it, I don't need it, I don't want it. At that time, I already worked at the company as a social media marketing manager and I didn't really understand why do I need to keep studying marketing. So it was summertime 2020 and one girl who I know, she lived in Korea and she told me that my manager is interested in you and he wants you to come to Korea. So I started talking to this manager and yeah, we signed the contract and a few months later I came to Korea. We had an agreement that I'll check if I like it or not and I can leave as soon as I want but I liked it so I decided to stay here. I've never had a plan or a dream to live in Korea so it just happened to be like that. I answered many questions and gave you a lot of information about myself but I'm sure there is much more to go so if you have any other questions which you are interested in please write them on comments and next time when I'll film this video again I'll try to answer them. But for now for my introduction video I think it's more than enough. So thank you guys for watching I hope you really enjoyed my video.